Dougie Little, I mean, he probably had some of the best dogs here on the island. I mean, he was he was just a shepherd, wasn't he, on the mountains? He was a shepherd. His, his father came over to work for Cumbria in the 1930s, and, and, and himself and his brother, Tommy Little, was a judge, but Tommy won the first Manx National in 1939. Mm. So he, he, the family has a big pedigree of sheepdog trial on them. And yeah. Dougie was a very good handler. Yeah. He found about 600 acres around Serbia and Slot and things. Yeah. So. He was sort of the guy that I always sort of thought was, was the top handler with the top dogs. And he was my target to beat, if I could beat Dougie Little. And I, I only actually achieved it twice. Because in some of these trials, they had what was called a qualifying trial where you got your original mark and your original outrun and et cetera. And then after that, they picked the top five dogs from that initial qualifying trial and they ran in a final. And it's much more involved in the original trial because you have to send the dogs back to get another lot of five yeah. sheep. So you run round the trial course with 10 and then you have to separate them. It's, it's, it's very difficult. And I, I mean, Dougie was just so good at that and you could, yeah. You could never beat him doing that. You could get into the qualifier, but that was that. Yeah. <laughs> the other thing I, I can remember doing as well, I did have a go a few times competing against Dougie and Robert Convig in, in, the, in the brace. Right. There used to be brace. Some of the trials used to run braces. Yes, yeah. And that was difficult as well. But you had to have two dogs that were completely independent commands and independent whistles. And they had to do different things and that that was very difficult but again i had a go against dougie but i never beat him at that either